Lauren here. Time for another Fantastic Friday. Today we've got seven different things that we're going to open up um, and they're a bunch of new ones for me so I'm super duper excited about that. Um, so we've got the Playmobil Series 9 figures that my roommate Delaney just absolutely insisted I get because she loves Playmobil. Um, we've got the Cutie Mark Magic My Little Pony series, Series 1 of Kitty in my pocket got Series 1 Monster High Minis, uh, Series 5, the Ice Series of the Minecraft minifigures, a Series 3 Unicorno, and back there in the back we've got the Frozen Funko Vinyl uh, Mystery Minis. So let's get started with My Little Pony. And these ones don't have the uh, checklist on the back, so we'll have to see what's inside figure out who we got today. So here they do come with a little checklist inside that um, shows you all the different ponies you can get. Um, I don't know who a lot of these ponies are so it'd be cool if I got one that I recognized like Pinkie Pie or Twilight Sparkle. Let's see who's in here and I think we might get a visitor from a cat so hang on everybody. <laughs> oh how cute! This is um, Flower Wishes and her little card says that she likes to grow gardens. She's really cute. Um, she's got a little flower there on her side. That's her cutie mark. She's got the green um, and kind of a, it's not white. I guess it's just a lighter color green tail um, and mane. She's really cute. Mika, you gotta be careful back there. <laughs> She wants to open up a kitty in my pocket, it looks like. So we'll do that next. So on the back, these are um, a lot of the ones you can get from series one, but if you can tell, they sort of like repeat the characters over again. So I don't know exactly how many there are to collect in here. Let's find out. Who do you think's in here, Miko? Do you have a guess? What kind of kitty? I think she's leaving. That's okay. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's a little white kitty. He's got some sunglasses on his head and it looks like he's wearing um, a little purple collar with like a little piece that hangs down a bit. Um, I don't know if that's maybe supposed to be a tie. I don't know. It's, I don't know, <laughs> but it's really cute, whatever it is. He's very fuzzy. So the, all these figures are super fuzzy from what I've seen and he is so cute. I'm excited to have him in my collection and be my first one. How fun. Okay, what do you guys wanna see opened next? I'm thinking unicornos. This is my very first unicorno ever to open and I've seen some videos of them and I think they are so cool. So I'm really excited to see who we get today. These are all the different ones that you can get in the box. Um, Tokidoki is the company that creates these and they have such neat stuff. So if you haven't gotten anything from them yet, you should definitely check it out. This princess one is really cute. Um, I like the, the Indian one, Timber. <laughs> there goes Miko again. I'm gonna stay here or jump down with Iroh. So let's see who we get here today. So their packaging is super cute. They've got this awesome box plus inside me sweetie <laughs> they've got this really nice um silver foil packaging let's see if this one comes with a tear strip i don't think it has a tear strip on it so we'll just cut it open and see who we get let's see oh that's cute it's made to look like a little ladybug oh so she's mostly kind of this like grayish black color and you can see she's got a um, little ladybug on the back of each side of her flank there um, got the little tokidoki symbol in the front and little red uh, red all over her with some black spots and even her mane is sort of like oh goodness I don't know <laughs> I forget the, the, the word um, it goes back and forth between the two different colors she is really cute let's see what her name is that is this one right here um, 
Cocinella or Cochinella. I'm not quite sure exactly how you say that, but I think that's who that is. Yeah, we'll go with Cocinella because I think that sounds cute. <laughs> Fun. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get this Minecraft minifigure opened. I know, um, I think they've come out with even a series after series five now. Um, I think it's the end series, series six, but this is the one that they had in my store. So these are some of the figures you can get. Um, on this side, I really like the teleporting Enderman. I think he's cool. Or the little wolf with the bone. The bunny's cute. And then these are some of the others you can get. I like the Siamese cat. Um, <laughs> the Steve with mismatched armor is kind of fun. Or the golem with the flower. Let's see who's in here. Let's break open this box. <clears throat> and I like that these come even with a little blind bag on the inside. So, you know, if you do come across one that's been opened up in the store, um, it may still be, you know, closed up in there. <gasps> Ooh, we got the skeleton on fire. He looks really cool. So it's got the whole body of the skeleton in there, but then it, he's also encased in fire. So it's skeleton in flames. And he's got a star next to it, which means he's only available in these little one packs. So that's cool. And the, the flame part is, it's not quite see-through, but it's a little bit different material um, than the actual skeleton where he's like solid material. He's The, the flame is kind of like almost see-through a little bit, which is kind of cool. Neat. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and open up this Playmobil figure that Delaney, my roommate, wanted me to open up. Now, these are some of the characters on the front you can get. So you can see there's like a, like an ice princess or a ballerina. Um, looks like maybe a butterfly or something in the back, a little uh, flight attendant. I know if my roommate had been picking, she would not have picked this girlier set. <laughs> um, she prefers the ones that have like knights and dragons and uh, police officers, all that sort of cool stuff. But personally, since this was for my collection, I wanted to get one of these. Ooh, oh my goodness, this is going to be hard to build. So, okay, let's see here real quick, and then I'll open up the checklist and show you guys what we got. See if we can figure out how to do this. This looks like her head. Oh, go in there. Oh, good. Okay, so the legs and the head sort of like snap together inside of here, which is good. Give her an arm. Come on, I know this goes in there. Let's see. I've never put together one of these before, so if there's like some special way you're supposed to do this, I have no idea. Oh, well, okay, maybe there's instructions in here. Let's open this first. <laughs> Try and figure out who it is based on what this stuff looks like. Okay, so I think based on what we've got so far, we got this girl right here. Looks like she's gonna be wearing a dress and have a bouquet with flowers. So, okay. It doesn't give a whole lot of indication on how you're supposed to put this together. Except that maybe I need to put her arms in before I put on her head. So let's try that. Maybe that'll work. Oh goodness, that works a lot better. So yeah, don't do like me. Follow the instructions. Um, okay. Because it looks like maybe the arms, oh, the arms hook in to the bottom part of their clothes. Okay. Cool. And then the legs hook in to the head. Fantastic. So now she's super sturdy and isn't going to come apart. Okay, so we've got her hair. That should just go on. Yep, nice click there. So she's got her cute hair. Um, kind of like a nice fishtail ponytail in the back. And it looks like this is going to be her crown. Maybe? Yeah, we've got all these it's got a ton of little pieces in here. So we've got these little purple pieces. If I can get this to go on. 
yeah, we've got these little purple pieces here that sort of attach to the little sections on the crown. Um, so let's attach those real quick. This is going to be really cute when it's done. Just going to take a little while. And there's another one. Does it come with an extra one? I'm thinking it might, which is good if it does, just in case you lose one. Okay. Fantastic. So there is her um, little headpiece. And oh, and her head moves just a little bit to the side, which is cute. And so here we've got her flower bouquet. So we stick the part with the uh, more stems on the inside of this big leafy part. And then there's lots of little sections where you can attach these flowers. And you can do kind of whatever color combination you want. They gave me in here um, pink, light purple, and dark purple flowers to work with. Oops, popped one off. So you can kind of do whatever color combination your heart desires. Come up with something really cute. If you can get them all on there. <laughs> Oh my goodness, these are really cool when they're done, but this is my first time ever building one, so I'm having some some trouble here. Sorry, just move the camera too. Okay, I'm gonna call, <laughs> I'm gonna call this good enough for now. I'll work on the rest of it later. So it looks like she can hold it in here. We'll turn it around so you can see the flowers. So she'll have a really pretty bouquet when she's all finished and got all of her flowers on there, her nice little um, head crown. I think she's supposed to be a bride because she's wearing a very pretty wedding style dress with a little bow here in the back. She's very cute. So I'll keep her and her other pieces with her right back there. Neat. Okay, so I've just got two more things to open. We've got the Frozen Vinyl and the Monster High Minis. Um, let's go ahead and get the Monster High Minis open. I've gotten um, a few of these. I, if you watched my last video, I opened about six of them and got a ton of duplicates. So I'm hoping that today we get somebody new. And I will do my best to get the checklist out first so that we can go over that together before I show you guys what the character looks like. So let's just see if I can sneak in here without looking even myself and get the checklist. I didn't keep one out for this video. The character's on top. Hold on. <laughs> Promise I'm not looking. I just need to get a better angle to get this checklist out of here. Come on. Okay. All right. Keep that right there. So here is the checklist for the Monster High Minis. There are um, over 70 to collect, but right now, they are only doing the ones from this top one right here, the Series 1 Original Ghouls. So last time when I opened, I got Frankie, which is a common. Uh, Draculara I got last time and the time before. She's also a common. Um, and I got Laguna. She's a common. And Rochelle, which she is a fantastic find. So let's see who we got in here today and hope that it's somebody new. Ooh, okay. Looks like it is. Fantastic. So let's get her open. Take a better look at her. Okay, this looks like we got Claudine. Cute. Okay, so she is also a common. Get her up a little closer. You can see she's got her little um, werewolf fangs and she's wearing a cute purple dress and some green shoes. Um, she's got some nice swoopy hair that kind of curls a little bit on the sides and in the back, just like her hair in the show. And um, they all come packaged in this little uh, pink locker. So you can sit, set them in here and then they've got some different locking mechanisms on them so you can connect the lockers and keep all of them together. Well, yay! I'm glad we got somebody new this time because we got a lot of duplicates in the last video. <laughs> okay, so we've got one more thing to open. And let's see what we've got here. So this is, like I said, the Funko 
um, vinyl mystery minis for Frozen. <clears throat> this is kind of a lighter medium box, so I'm thinking it's not going to be something super light like one of the Olaf's or um, one of the baby versions of Anna or Elsa, but it's probably also not going to be one of these marshmallow figures. So I'm thinking we'll probably get just a normal size figure. Um, they all have different rarities, the rarest ones being um, one of the trolls or marshmallow in, with his little uh, <laughs> with his little crown. Um, I would be happy with any of them, but I really, really like Elsa, so I'm hoping we get one of her today. <clears throat> Let's see who's in this box. Hmm. It's feeling a little smaller than I was thinking, so it could be somebody small. <gasps> oh, pretty! We got Elsa in her coronation outfit. Cute. So she's wearing, <laughs> her scepter's a little bent, but she's wearing her crown. She's got her hair done up. Um, that's really cute with the tie in the back into a bun. And then she's holding the little scepter and the little orb thing that she um, takes with her to her coronation. Her dress has really pretty details on it. It's got the nice, um, what is that, Nordic design that they've got from the movie. She is so pretty. I don't have anything of Elsa in her coronation dress, so this is gonna be awesome. Oh, it's even got a little print back here on the back of her cloak too. Cute. I am very happy about that. And that Elsa is this one? I think so. Yeah, that's the only one that's uh, her in her coronation dress. And that's a one in 24. So I think the, pack, the boxes are of 12, so she'll be in one of every two boxes. Sweet. Okay, guys, I think that about wraps it up for today. Today was a little bit longer because we had so many things to open and building this little um, bride here took a little while. <laughs> um, and I'm still not done. So just make sure if you get one of the Playmobiles yourself, um, make sure you have time to build them. They were on sale for less than $2 each for the blind bags at, at Toys R Us um, just last week. So I think if you go and check it out, they could be on sale again. Um, let me know down in the comments what your favorite thing that I opened today was. Um, oh, I got so many cute things, so I don't know, but oh, for me, I guess it's probably going to be Elsa um, because I'm so excited about her and she's super cute, but I'm very happy to finally have some of these unicornos and I have some more um, unicornos and some of the mermicornos to open up in future videos, so stay tuned for those. Um, have you guys been playing any of that Pokemon Go game that's out? I think it just came out yesterday and I have been like crazy obsessed with playing it and have caught so many Pokemon. Um, it's out on phones. You have to walk around to find Pokemon, which is kind of fun and kind of scary. So just <laughs> be, be safe when you're out there searching for Pokemon. Don't do anything dumb. Um, let me know down in the comments what your favorite Pokemon you've caught so far is. Mine that I've caught is an Eevee because I think it's super cute and you can, um, you know, in the games you can evolve it into so many different types of Pokemon, which I think is super cool. Well, let me know what you liked best. Let me know what you think about Pokemon Go and give this video a big thumbs up and tell all of your friends. Thank you so much for coming and watching another video and we'll be back next week with more. Bye!